Yeah. All right. What's up, family? We thought we'd do a little different scenery today. He got something different to look at. You know what I'm saying? He's a beautiful women to look at. You know what I mean? But hey, check this one out. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do this video here. And we're going to title this one, The Cell Phone. So you go, what, what am I talking about when I say your cell phone? We're going to talk about, look at how the cell, phone, the cell phone has been so productive, but it also has been detrimental and destroyed a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't always use that cell phone for a good purpose that it should be used for. For example, have you ever noticed? Look how the cell I remember many years ago, and I'm talking about many, many years ago when everybody didn't have a cell phone. I remember somebody said to me, man, pretty soon nobody going to have a cell phone. Nobody going to have a landline in their house. Because I was like, what? Everybody got a, a phone in their house. And the guy said, nah, man, pretty soon everybody going to have cell phones. You're not even going to have phones in your house. I was like, when he said that, I said, eh. But actually, it do make sense. And before you know it, right? And, yeah, you hear that thunder? Before you know it, you do see and hear everybody got cell phones. Exactly. So therefore, the cell phone has destroyed the landline in the house. Um, I know, remember our neighbor, she still had a rotary phone, the one you still go like that. Yeah. Pay phones, that's pay another one. Pay phones, yeah. the, the cell phone has destroyed yes. the pay phone. People don't go pay phones no more. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, well, I got a cell phone. If I don't got yeah. one, somebody nearby got a cell phone, and I can just use theirs, right? Exactly. Uh, matter of fact, speaking of the pay phones, let me speak to the, what will your generation be called, Data? Gen millennials. Millennials. If you ask the <laughs> average millennial, why do people always say, man, like for example, me and mommy was in Walmart earlier today, and we seen a couple of dimes on the ground. I said, oh, look, look, a couple of dimes. Somebody dropped a dime. Why, why do people say that? What, what's the reason why people say it? You know what it means when someone say drop it? Like yeah. you tell somebody, right? That's correct. Well, okay. But where did, where did that come from? Where did that come from? Why did why they say that's... Because people used to pay for information? Nope. Well, Ooh, uh, you're look, you, you, the right as, my, as my school teacher used to say, you're, you're on the right, the right track. track, but you ain't getting there yet. <laughs> See, the reason I'm asking you as a millennial, because I know most millennials wouldn't know the answer to this. Why do people call snitching dropping a dime? You think you could get the answer? <laughs> Most millennials don't know this answer. No, hey, you kind of, you're on the if right snitch, track. If the snitch dropped a dime, right? They, they're buying their time out. All right, here's the real answer. Because way before you was born, the millennials the don't, don't even know how to work a tape player or a VCR. Anyway, what it was, way back then, you had pay phones. And you know how much it cost to call somebody a dime Dang, so you would drop a, a dime time. in the phone oh my god you know what i'm saying to give as you said time. to give information you would drop a dime in the phone <laughs> and then of course that dime went up to a quarter <laughs> right. like, Man, it it on you. yeah <laughs> but let's let's keep moving what what else has the cell phone destroyed hey yo try to turn it this way y'all try to Where? do this one. this one go back that way right. the cell phone has destroyed even though a lot of us still watch tv Remember, nowadays you can watch TV programs on your cell phone. Yeah. A lot of times people, they barely use their cell phone. Or let's say a person that's on the road, you 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 watch your TV. You're a driver, especially a truck driver. you watching everything. Why, wow, y'all hear that thunder? you watching everything on your cell phone. You, you barely use a TV. Yeah. The newspaper. You ever thought of that? Mm -hmm. Newspapers ain't really much around anymore. Why? Because you get all your news on your cell phone. What about VCRs? VCRs, all that you could, you could, you could pull up every movie that you want right on your, on your phone. So it's like, man, I don't need, I don't need. How many people got all them DVDs in their house? I know people that got hundreds and hundreds of DVDs. Mm -hmm. But now you'd be like, man, I could just get rid of these things. I just pull everything up on the cell phone. Yeah, exactly. Anything else, y'all? Cell phone? There's a lot of things. Cell phone has straight up destroyed. It's like it's no I, more. The I computer. Think, I think people, just yeah, kids like. More and more kids are going outside. They're not going outside. They're oh not. my God! Video games. Yeah. Video games. Parents Back just give them a tablet, and it's like also you don't have to worry about the kid. It's like the, leave them with the tablet; they'll be fine. And you do everything on your phone. You yeah. video game. Back in my days, growing up, yeah. having video games was a big deal. But nowadays, you don't need video games. You do it right on your cell phone. So it's you, killed the you video did. games. And you and barely see like, little kids riding their bikes together. Remember, I used yeah, to go to my friend's yep. house, and I, that's how I see if she's home. Like, they I all ride on their cell phone. Bike. They all go knock home. and say, hi, is she home? Like, yep. I get everybody texting a tablet. And the, yep. and all on their cell phone. Push just, that. Yeah. Push us back out there. It's just like Ashley. It's just like Jada said. This is, um, it's, it's, it's,
kids, you don't see them going in the park and find each other. other mm -hmm. Come on, push. Ready? Yeah, because the cell phone got us so. You got it? Push it out. Go back over there. And then push. Come on, push. There we go. Yeah, so the cell phone, you're right. Yeah, um, it's like people barely out anymore because they like, oh, I'm on my cell phone. And let a kid, let a millennial, especially you, lose your cell phone. Jokers lose their mind. Exactly. Um, so the video games, you you know, we could keep going. Matter of fact, we could name plenty more, but I'm going to give you a big one. Watch this. You know what else the cell phone has destroyed? I want to ask that millennial over there again. Let me see you spin around. <laughs> ask the millennial. Watch this. You know, I got a real good one. You know what else the cell phone has destroyed? Yeah. Relationships. Ooh, yeah. You know how many times jokers be going through a man, man or woman be going through another person's cell phone trying to be what nosy and trying to figure out. I want to see who he talking to. When, when you know where they at? Where they at? You know GPS and all that. But yo, let me ask you this question. Like I said, cell phones has destroyed relationships. Why? Because people want to check your information and see who you've been talking to. And when they find out you talking to another girl, another guy, next thing they're like, oh, we split up. Right? So watch this. Why do you think, let's say a woman, I'm going to go from a woman's point of view. Why do you think a woman is checking her man's cell phone in the first place? I've seen it, videos where a woman will go as far, yeah. I've seen it where a woman go as far as the man is asleep. And he got it pass protected. She take his phone and try to put it on there to, to unlock it, right? right. And then I even God. see a video where she put his face while he sleep. But why do you think a woman would check a man's uh, phone so 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 insecure that she want to check the phone in the first place? What would be your answer? Why would she want to dig through his phone anyway? Because uh, she's looking for something. True. How about you? No, not trusting. The trust is, th is starting to kick in. Yeah. Like not yes. trusting that person. Yeah. Insecurity. Mm -hmm. yes. It makes, a, makes, makes that person hear the phone constantly going out. You know, yep. going off, going off. And yep. then they realize, like, you know, I got to check something up. Yep. But at the same time, you can have something good. It's just the people that mm -hmm. have actually passed. Um, mm -hmm. They have changed. Yeah. That's and a good idea. Now, I'm going to give you another reason why they do it. It's, it's exactly what both of y'all said. But watch this. It's also an adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. It's like that person is like, I want to see. I want to see what he got in his phone. I want to see. Why? Remember the old saying that they go, if you keep digging for something, mm -hmm. you're going to eventually find something. Yeah. So see, you, you want to go through this person's cell phone, you're going to eventually find something that's going to hurt your feelings. And it ain't always what you think it is. It's just a dude looking for an adrenaline rush, such as a, yeah, now, nah, aha, gotcha. That's what they looking for. Aha. You know what? Person want to research your past happiness. I want to see who make you happy. I want to see what you what you've been doing. Cause you seem to be so anxious on that phone. See what's going on. You want to research your past happiness, and they be they let an adrenaline rush push them to do that, and therefore, AKA, cell phone destroys relationships sometimes if you're not careful. Yes. Absolutely. Whether you're in a relationship or any other way, there is. We used to use, well, when I used to drive, we used to use the actual maps. Then it became GPS. You don't need GPS anymore. You got a cell phone. Mm -hmm. I remember when I bought my first pickup truck. I remember the guy, the truck costed an extra big amount of money if you got the truck with the GPS. And I said, yo, I remember I said to the guy, I said, yeah, that costs like an extra two grand just to have a GPS in the truck. I said, I don't need that. I got a cell phone. What I need a GPS is already installed in the truck for me. Y'all gonna charge me all this extra money? Nah, man, give me the truck without the GPS. Yeah. That's silly to get it with the truck. Yeah. When it's like, it's cheap, I got it on my phone. See how the cell phone has destroyed so many simple things that we take for granted. It's like, why well, need that? My cell phone can do that. 
Right. Look, the cell phone has destroyed a lot of restaurants. I don't gotta go to the restaurant more. I just go on my cell phone and order my food. Right. I don't even gotta go to the restaurant no more. <laughs> it's so many things. Anything else y'all can name? Cause it's a bunch. I've I've seen phones ruin dates before. Like somebody would be on their phone too much at a date because you're kind of like just so self-absorbed in your phone. You're right. That's right. And it's back just to like we're here supposed to be conversating. Yeah, if you're on a, a date, it should be no reason every two seconds you're looking at that damn phone. That's disrespectful. Yeah. It's really. But you know, yeah. whether we have our whether we have our cell phones, we become very um very smart about our our life life. Yeah. Become very um very smart about it. Don't let the don't let the um phone cell phone become became stupid. How many minutes we in? <laughs> so what up, anybody else got anything else? Because I know it's a lot. Y'all got a lot that y'all can mention about. The cell phone is meant to be a real positive thing, but a lot of times it's used for negative things. And unfortunately, it has destroyed a lot of companies and businesses yeah. because people use it for negative things. Or it don't always Even have to exploiting. Be for Say that again? Even exploiting. Yes. All you have to do is have one bad experience, and I'm gonna go online and tell you, don't come to this restaurant. Here's the address. Here's the people that work here. Like you just said, it made me think. Like, you know what else is destroyed? What? Money. Yeah. You don't have to carry money no more because you carry. Oh, yeah. You just do everything on your, your phone. Apple you Pay. Apple Pay. Wireless. Pay, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. credit card. It's the wallet. People start carrying wallets no more. You carry your cell phone. You yeah. information in your cell phone. Your passport. You don't gotta carry your passport no more. Why? Cause you carry it. How many times you're at the airport, you see people they just put their phone up, mm -hmm. everything. So you don't gotta carry that. Yeah. See, everything's it's digital, which means if you can't afford a phone and you can't afford a phone bill, you basically can't afford life. Everything. You got <laughs> like, you, really. The only thing. You know what else I find real disrespectful? How about you? You. Um, you try to inspire to be with some type of company or some type of business, and the first thing they tell you, oh, you gotta download our app. And oh my phone. gosh. What I if hate you don't that. got a phone? Right. What if you don't, or what if you're not internet savvy, like especially a lot of older people? They make it to where, nope, you gotta have a cell phone to download our app in order to get this information you need, in order to join right. this. You're like, right. what? But hey, anything in closing, man? It's easier, also, cell phones are an easier way for the government to track everybody and keep everybody in line mm -hmm. and monitor what you so watch what and what. That? It's destroyed your privacy. Yeah, and, and your minds. Yeah. In yeah. your mind. Because they know everywhere, oh, he was over here. They could pinpoint, oh, he was over there, yeah, he was over there. You're like, once again, destroying your personal life. Yeah. yeah. Really, though. So what y'all got? Anything in closing? In closing, I would just What would be the word of the day? I ain't give a word of the day. Don't be getting on me about that. Word of the day would be what? Let's see, what can we make up dealing with the cell phone? Your personal security, your, your privacy. Um, somebody give me, um, in closing, something will come to you. Okay. Discreet. I think I used discreet before, but but we use it again. I'm trying to think of something I'm talking about here. Be discreet. Uh, remember, on your cell phone, you can turn off your location and stuff like that. You don't want some of that type of stuff out there. That's how you can be incognito. That's the word. Incognito, which means you want to be discreet. You don't want to be so obvious about what you're doing and where you're doing that at. So use your cell phone to be incognito. Yeah. All right. But what, yeah. what do y'all got in closing that y'all like to add? Everybody would be saying. I would just say don't let your cellular device run your life, you know? Like, some people really make it their entire lives. Yeah. So I would just say don't don't fall victim to consuming yourself to your phone. Yeah, yeah. especially that's when really, you're That's really that. it. You like, your phone is not you. It might have all of your exactly. things on it that you put on there. But it's yeah. not you. It's not your personality. Yeah. Exactly. How about you, Especially yeah. when it comes down to relationships. That's a huge number one in your life forever. It's just make, be wise about it. And, and don't be some, don't let something simple like that destroy your, your relationship. Your life. I, I piggyback on what y'all both basically said. Yeah. Be incognito in the word of the day for some of your privacy. Everybody don't need to know everything you're doing, when you're doing it. Incognito means it's basically like you don't go slow. Yeah, go slow. Like you know, you look up the word. I'm pretty sure it says something to the degree of you know some privacy. Yeah. You, you know, hey, look, I, I need my privacy here. 
So be be mindful when you using your cell phone. If you're in a relationship, you know, you want to be incognito. If you're hiding something, then that's something that you should be thinking twice about. If you got to be hiding something, maybe you shouldn't be in that relationship. But use that cell phone for productive things. Uh -huh. Because remember what you said earlier, you was about to get to it. My daughter, when we talk about what it destroyed, I remember when my daughter was little, uh, one day I was going over her homework and I told her, I gave her some words to look up. And right away when I gave her the words to look up, she went and grabbed her cell phone. I said, yo, what are you doing? I got upset. I got upset with her. I said, yo, what you doing? I told you to go look up the words. And, and she said, I am. And I'm, I was confused. She wasn't. I was. I said, yo, but what are you doing? She said, I'm getting my cell phone. I said, no. Go get the dictionary that I brought you. I said, I brought you dictionaries. Go get the dictionary. Look up the words. And then she said, I can't find it. I said, well, you, I told her, I said, you better go find it. I said, you better go up in the attic, you better find it. That's what I'm saying. You become brain dead. You never Thank the cell phone makes people brain, brain dead. dead. Thank you. Okay. Right. And I told her, I said, you better go find that dictionary. Right. Right. And then, of course, she was upset with me. But then she went and found it. But then when she came back, I remember I said to her, I said, yo, so what about when you're in school and they tell you how to look up words? And remember the answer you told me? Mm -hmm. What'd you tell me? Just tell us to pull your phones out. That's, see, like Mommy said, that's making you brain dead. I said, what? They tell you how to pull right. your phone. pull your cell phone. I said, what if you got a cell phone? She said, well, most people do got a cell phone. Every little kid. I said, yo, these schools yeah, yeah. are making y'all lazy. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be looking up these words. So, hey, yeah, be productive. Be, be productive. <laughs> Sometimes you want to be incognito. Word of the day. Mm -hmm. But be productive when you use your phone. Don't always use it for malicious things because you can use that phone for mighty great things. Right. Use it for that. Okay. You know that note? Wait. We got the, we got the title. We got the YouTube thing right there. Subscribe, share, like, comment, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Wait, Thanks along with the word of the day, you have a quote of the day. What's what? Put your phones down. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put your phones down. Put your phones down. down. Choose a mate to conversate. Get yeah, that phone to break sometimes instead of always on the phone. Quoted by Speaks for Integrity. <laughs>